Chopra has spoken candidly about working with Prince Harry on their TV series focused on mental health, the me you can't see and the impact the royals' work can have on people. The show, released on Apple TV Plus on Friday, features the Duke of Sussex laying bare his soul as he speaks about his mental health and the royal family. Oprah, who co-created and co-produced the series with Harry, was asked by U.S. broadcaster and her friend Gail King whether she thinks the Duke's candid approach to his issues will help him with the royal family. Appearing on CBS this morning, Oprah replied, I don't know if it helps with the royal family. But this is what I do know, is that being able to express your own personal truth in a way that benefits you and also helps other people to see the truth in themselves, which is the reason why Harry agreed to have the sit-down and have the conversation, the first interview that went around the world. And in this series, you will see that we are in conversation. Prince Harry, Oprah added, knows the power of story and the impact he can have reaching millions of people. She continued, he knows that by sharing the story of his own grief with his mother, that many other people who haven't processed the grief will say, oh, you know what? That's what's going on with me, too. During the TV series, Prince Harry opened up on the trauma of losing his mother aged 12, how he tried to cope with it in his 20s and why he decided to seek therapy. But he also spoke about the support he said he did not receive from the royal family both as a grieving son and as a worried husband. The Duke recalled what Prince Charles used to tell him when he was struggling emotionally. He said, cause my father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to both William and first well it was like that for me so it's gonna be like that for you. However, Prince Harry forcefully rejected this notion during the show, saying it doesn't make sense. He continued, just because you suffered, that doesn't mean that your kids have to suffer. In fact quite the opposite, if you've suffered, do whatever you can to make sure that whatever experiences, negative experiences you had, that you can make it right for your kids. Speaking about seeking support from the firm while, as senior royals, he and Meghan were experiencing intense online abuse, the Duke said, every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, to stop just got met with total silence or total neglect. We spent four years trying to make it work. We did everything that we possibly could to stay there and carry on doing the role and doing the job. Harry also told Oprah he would never be bullied into silence in the future. The royal family has not replied to the Duke of Sussex's latest claims. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had already opened up about their struggles within the royal family in their two-hour-long interview with Oprah aired in March. During their landmark chat, the Sussexes raised claims of racism and lack of support against the firm. Buckingham Palace released only one short statement in response to the bombshell interview, in which the Queen said to be saddened to learn in full how much Meghan and Harry had struggled and communicated any claims would be looked into by the family. Following this statement, only Prince William broke ranks and spoke publicly about the interview. Replying to a reporter's question during an engagement in London, the Duke of Cambridge said his family is very much not a racist family. Prior to the release of The Me You Can't See, Prince Harry also spoke about his mental health and the royal family in a lengthy conversation with Dax Shepard and Monica Padman during an episode of the Armchair Expert podcast. Speaking about life in the royal family, Harry described it as a mix between The Truman Show and living in a zoo. He also appeared to criticize his father's parenting and upbringing, saying he aimed at breaking the cycle with Archie and his daughter not to make them suffer the same pain he experienced as a child.